I was working as a television correspondent from India's Northeast for CNN and IBN when I got the fellowship at Reuters Institute at Oxford. The conflict in India's Northeast, the various peace agreements signed with militant groups, the underdevelopment in the Northeast, and the Indian metropolitan media's selective engagement with the region was the subject of my research. Only Oxford could give me access to certain archives. I could also use the India office records at the British Library. And Oxford just opens doors for you. Halfway into the fellowship, I was invited to Johann Galtung's Peace Research Institute at Oslo to give a talk. And then again at London, I was at the Royal Society for Asian Affairs to give a talk. And then again, I was at the Ox Peace Research Center at Oxford. And now I contribute to Oxford Analytica. So it has helped me in a lot of ways. And now I try and put in more research into my reporting in as much as possible within the limitations of television. The unstinted and unwavering support from all the people at Reuters Institute certainly remains one of my best memory at Oxford University and also the time spent with all the fellows from across the world. It's a lovely time I spent and it remains a wonderful memory. I came to the journalism program at Reuters Institute straight from my job as a Times of India correspondent based in Chhattisgarh a central Indian state that is the epicenter of a violent conflict between Maoist insurgents and India's security forces. Chhattisgarh is also where indigenous communities called Adivasis are pitted against mining and energy corporations in a tough fight over land and resources. The fight is not always violent. In fact, most of these communities are using constitutional methods and are appealing to the courts to secure their rights. My research at Oxford tried to look at both these conflicts, the armed conflict and the resource conflict, and tried to see how the media reports them. The question I asked, which of these two conflicts gets more media attention and why? The peace and quiet at Oxford allowed me to step back from the conflict arena and take a more measured view of its dynamics. The university's fantastic resources, its network of libraries, gave me a chance to read widely on similar conflict situations all over the world. It was great to be part of this interesting community of scholars at Oxford, and in particular, the journalism fellows at Reuters Institute, who I got to know really well. Through exchanges with them, I could see how much we have in common as journalists, driven by the need to tell compelling stories of a rapidly changing world. I'll miss 13 Norham Gardens for all the fun, the learning and the sharing.